Hello financial fans, as of this uh, year to date, the year to date, this is October 1st of 2022 and my portfolio is down 21.7% so far this year. The uh, diamonds, the Dow 30 stocks, uh, the ETF exchange traded fund uh, DIA is down 18 Point three nine, or is it five nine? Three nine percent, eighteen point three nine percent. So the uh, DIA Dow Thirty Diamonds uh, are beating me uh, in a downward market. Uh, they're down less than my portfolio's down. The Nasdaq is down twenty one point four six percent so far this year. I'm down 21.7 so the NASDAQ is also beating my performance ever so slightly. And S&P 500, S&P 500 is down 22.71 percent year to date so I am beating the S&P 500. And uh, I am expecting a Santa Claus rally beginning Monday. Not a big deal. It'll creep in when it creeps in, but uh, I would not be surprised if the market is higher at the end of the year than it is right now. Just uh, It's something that's so illogical that it should happen. And as far as stocks to consider, yes there are stocks to consider. There are some unusual numbers out there with uh, stocks. We're going to begin with uh, a corporation called APA, APA Corporation, and it closed on Friday at $34.19 per share and after hours went up six cents to $34 and a quarter. Two thirds of the way down the column on the left 52 week range, $21.45 was the low, so it was much lower than it is right now, and it was $51.95, so it was much higher than it is right now. It's kind of in the middle of its 52 week range from uh, $21.45 to $51.95. Average volume for this uh, stock, this corporation, is 8 million shares trading every day, and the experts consider this stock to be undervalued. When we look at the numbers, I happen to agree with them. Look at the beta on this in the second uh, number in the middle column, 3.81. If you think the market is going up, then this uh, stock should go up uh, more than three and a half times as much as the market in general, or it might go down by that much if you think the market is declining right now. And the P.E. ratio, 3.85, very, very, very low. Earnings per share, 888, 888. So that is very, very nice. Uh, forward dividend and yield, small, 2.92%. Uh, just enough to keep the paperwork, but uh, it's not going to beat inflation or anything. And look at the one-year target on this. It's right now thirty-four dollars and a quarter, and it's, it's expected to go up uh, about twenty dollars per share from uh, this to fifty-four dollars seventy-five cents. So the numbers look good for APA Corporation. Next, we look at. Cleveland Cliffs Incorporated, CLF is the symbol, closed at $13.47 on Friday, down 30 cents, just uh, over 2%. And after hours, it's up a tiny bit uh, to $13.49 per share. 52 week range, $12.90 was the low, and $34.04 was the high, so it's near to the low very near to the low. And the average volume, 14 million shares trade every day, and the stock is considered to be undervalued. The P-E ratio, way, way, way down, 2.09. Uh, the earnings per share is $6.43, no dividend, it does not pay a dividend, but the one-year target 
$21.72. That would be nice if such a thing were to happen and they, they are analyzing these numbers and coming up with uh, the numbers that we're reading off of the Yahoo pages. Yahoo has great financial pages. Next we look at MRNA, which is Moderna Incorporated, and it closed at 118 and a quarter, $118.25 per share on a down day with the market, and it went up after hours to $118.28. The 52-week range, $115.03. Uh, so we're very near the low right now, and the 52-week high was $376.65. The average volume, about 5 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered, like the others, to be undervalued. The P.E. ratio, way down there, 3.72. These are the kind of numbers you wish for during the good times, and now they're here and nobody is uh, jumping out there to buy them, but this is a very good P.E. ratio, 3.72. The forward dividend and yield, no dividend, no dividend. One year target, $217.86. That would be a nice move upward. Last stock we'll look at. Petrolio Brocellero S.A. I bet I pronounced some of that correctly. It's a petroleum stock from Brazil. PBR. I do own this stock. The numbers are pretty nice. Uh, look at 52-week range. $9.36 was the low and $16.30 was the high. So it's nearer to the low, but it's uh, more uh, in the middle than anywhere else. Uh, by the way, after hours it went up a penny to $12.35. And the average volume, about 30 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be, altogether now, undervalued. The P.E. ratio, 2.59. That's very low, and that's good. Forward dividend and yield, why this stock is only yielding 56.97%. We see that often, don't we? No, we don't. That's amazing. One year target estimate, $16.34. So even if you don't get the dividend for some reason, it's still a nice uh, increase in value if that should happen. And I thank you very much for watching.